Hey folks, this is Maria Brew from Abru and Associates. Welcome to my channel. Um, we're addressing a question that we received from a subscriber having to do with citizenship. Interesting question. It says, is there a civic study guide available similar to the US meaning for naturalization? Um, what is the extent of the citizenship exam? Is it oral or written? Is Spanish speaking a prerequisite? Okay. There is a questionnaire, about 45 questions, just general questions with regards to the country, color of the flag, founding fathers, who was the president, things of that nature, very, very simple um, questions. We actually provide those 45 questions and the answers to our clients who are looking to apply for citizenship. Um, I got to tell you, they don't ask the 45 questions. It's an oral, it's, it's kind of like an interview. It's not in writing. And they'll just ask you um, random questions to, to test your basic knowledge of the country. Um, Although Spanish, a basic a knowledge of Spanish is a requirement, they do not adhere to that. In fact, they provide interpreters or translators for these interviews, I have to say, because most of my clients do not speak Spanish fluently, okay? They do that Duolingo thing, which is pretty good, by the way. I think Duolingo is pretty nice. And I actually have other clients, which this is just genius. There's an app. I'm trying to remember the name of it now. I can't, I can't recall it. Now, what the app does is that they'll speak in, one, in English, and then they'll just play it back in Spanish for whoever's listening. And then that person will speak into the app in Spanish, and then the app will just translate it in English. <laughs> this is how my clients get along. So, um, no, being, you know, speaking Spanish is not a prerequisite. Legally, there, you should have a, a basic knowledge of the language, but it is not enforced. So I should clear that up. They do provide interpreters um, for those who do not speak the language. And we do provide the questions and answers um, for the interview. But as I said, it's like 45 questions, very basic questions, and they may ask you three or four. <laughs> so, you know, my clients learn it, and so far we've never had any issues of that nature. But that is a very good question because many people wonder about that. You know, they're, they're, they're just sweating bullets trying to learn Spanish because they're like, they're interested in citizenship, but feel that not speaking the Spanish the, the Spanish language is going to serve as an impediment. It's not, guys, it's not. You can relax when it comes to that, okay? Uh, they're more concerned about the paperwork, about the solvency of the person applying for citizenship and their legal standing, meaning they've got, they haven't been naughty. You know, nothing's gonna come up in Interpol or, you know, in, in their police clearance. They're more concerned about that than anything else, okay? So, I hope this was helpful. Keep the questions coming. These are very good questions. I'm glad that um, I'm getting this feedback. You take care. See you next time.